everybody look what's going down stop now what's that sound In a frack, a hole is drilled into the ground, explosions are detonated, and fluids are pumped in to fracture the coal seam. The fracturing process may have caused methane to find its way into the water table. Meanwhile, increased levels of methane gas in water supplies have been reported in areas of intensive drilling. This is the water to my well, and supposedly I'm supposed to be drinking it. The thing that really got me interested uh, and concerned <clears throat> was I found out that under proposed regulations for New York State, you could drill a gas well 150 feet from this river or the lake that feeds it, uh, which is the water source for this village. Um, and that's just insane. It's about half of 1% of the fracking fluid is a chemical, or is it really a cocktail of chemical. And, but, but think of, but do the math on that. That means that that's 5,000 gallons per well is chemicals, or toxic chemicals that goes in. So if there's eight wells per pad site, that's, that's 40,000 gallons a toxic chemical. Once the chemicals are injected and the fracturing process is complete, a large percentage of that fluid comes back up. So we have purposely polluted large quantities of fresh water with chemicals that do not belong in the human environment. And now we have the responsibility, the industry and the landowners have the responsibility to dispose of them properly. But we're talking enormous quantity. We have a technology that has exceeded our regulatory capacity. We have a government saying something that's ahead of the, reg of the technology. So I'm, I'm really concerned about people in Europe, India, Asia, Africa, uh, that are gonna jump into this again too soon without understanding completely what the implications of this use of technology are on environment and human health. A spokesperson for the Marcella Shale Coalition, which represents the gas industry, told the ecologist that gas extracted from fracking is both safe and a panacea for America, offering a fuel that is both a cleaner and a more secure choice than relying on foreign energy supplies. Today, waste from Pennsylvania gas wells, waste that may also contain unacceptable levels of radium, is routinely dumped across state lines into landfills in New York, Ohio, and West Virginia. The level of radium in the Marcellus is about 267 times the safe disposal amount, meaning it'll kill you. This is a catastrophe. You know, we are basically living at ground zero for a catastrophe, and everyone is overlooking it because they're listening to the gas well companies who are saying everything's fine, this is great, we have such a wonderful opportunity.